Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna have quite a few interesting things to talk about. And so we will begin with a Nick Walker story. Uh, Nick Walker officially left Revive and Raw, and he is not working with Matt Jansen. Originally, after the rumors came out, Nick said that this is not true, that he will keep working with Matt until the wheels fall off, as he said, and that he will be still sponsored by Revive and, and Raw. But, apparently, it's no longer the case. So here, this was a Q&A that Nick did, and uh, I'm sure he had a million questions like this. So one of, one of the questions was, who is your new coach? And his reply was this emoji, not sure, he doesn't know, he doesn't have a coach currently. And the other question, the next question was, are you still with Revive? Everybody's wondering for real. And he said, nope. So that was it. That's it. I mean, that, that it's official now. He is no longer working with these guys. He is no longer coached by Matt Jensen, and he is not sponsored by anybody currently. No supplement company. As you can see right here, this is the most recent update of him. There is no mention of Revive or Raw in the description of this photo because he always used to put uh, Revive his code, his discount code for Revive supplements. Also, he changed the description of his profile, there is nothing about the Revive or Raw or Camp Jensen. So that's it, it's official, Nick is on his own, until he finds a new sponsor and a new coach. Is that gonna be a problem for him? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, the only problem that I see here is that Matt figured out a formula with, with, with Nick and it worked, it worked really well. And he knows his body and everything like that, and Matt is a great coach, so I think that's his biggest loss, losing a coach. As far as sponsorship, this guy is right now the biggest bodybuilding star, I have no doubts about that. Like, if you talk about the bodybuilding community and fitness community, probably Chris Bumstead uh, is more popular, but as far as bodybuilding, that's definitely Nick Walker, and right now it feels like Nick Walker is doing more, more than Chris Bumstead, I mean, he competed three times last year and he has a YouTube channel where he's posting videos almost every day and his Instagram account is really really active, he's always posting his physique updates, like he's really doing the work, so I mean any company would be super happy to have him. I'm sure he's being bombarded with offers right now, everybody, I'm sure everybody would like to have him. And he'll just pick the best offer. How much is he asking for? I don't know. But I would assume something around $20,000 per month. Something around that. I think that's what he's worth, honestly. Like, How much better does it really get? I mean, in the top 5, you also have the Big Ram and Hari Japan. They are not great at speaking English and they are not super active on social media. You have Hunter Labrada and also Brandon Curry. Both of those guys are like great, but you know they're not super active. They're not... Uh, very interesting, they're not really posting a ton of content like Nick, so I think Nick is probably the most marketable bodybuilder right now in the world, absolutely, and he's killing it, honestly. So I think uh, as far as sponsorship, that's gonna be easy for him, as far as finding a new coach, that, I don't know, I mean, there are, there are a lot of great coaches out there, and maybe things even work out better for Nick, I mean, maybe he clicks well with like Chris Aceto, Chad Nichols, uh, Patrick Tour, I don't know, there is a lot of great coaches, and right now it does really seem like Matt Jensen is the best in the world, I would say that he is the best, but how do you quantify that? It's a lot about clicking with a coach, and it seemed like Nick Walker and Matt Jensen clicked really well, but who knows what's gonna happen next, maybe Nick is gonna do it by himself, he knows the formula, maybe he needs a friend to just check him out, just give him the objective opinion, and he can do the formula, he can repeat whatever he did with Matt Jensen, but that's probably not the way he's gonna go, he's probably gonna start working with somebody, and I think that's awesome, maybe it's not the best idea for Nick, maybe it's a great idea, who knows, but it's gonna be exciting, seeing what Nick can bring with another coach, with another school of thought, it's definitely gonna be very interesting to see how things will end up with Nick Walker, what's gonna happen, who's he gonna be coached by, who's gonna sponsor him, so in the next days, weeks, or months, it's gonna be interesting, and I'm gonna keep you posted, guys, so subscribe to this channel. Alright, the next one is really awesome, it's Brandon Curry, finally, with an update. Now, this is not exactly right now, it's four weeks out, but it's somewhere in the prep, and, uh, I mean, Brandon Curry looks like 
like uh, he always does, I mean, he doesn't really look much improved from the Mr. Olympia, I mean, he didn't really have enough time to improve. At this point in his career, making improvements is really tough, and it takes a long time, it takes a full off season of being really dedicated to actually make some changes. If he doesn't have that, as he didn't this year, he started prepping only a couple of months after he competed, so he probably took some time off, you know, to, to work on his health, and then he started prepping, so... It's probably gonna be the same version of him as we saw at a Mr. Olympia, which is gonna be probably good enough to win this Arnold Classic. So as you can see right here, his legs do look big and round and full, you don't even see that he's balanced here in this video. It's taken from an angle, so yeah, his, his legs would appear bigger, but still, I mean, his upper body is looking great and his legs are looking pretty good. Maybe he even improved them a little, I don't know. Anyways, his upper body, as you can see, his arms, his chest, his lats are looking all big and full, and also his waist is still small, the stomach is controlled, it, it's, it's tight. Look at those shoulders, man, and the arms, and the chest. Uh, Brandon Curry is sort of underrated, really. If he had matching quads, he would be one of the best in the world, really. And yeah, I know he doesn't have those sharp details, like, for example, Ronnie had in the glutes, or Dorian used to have, and I don't know, Phil Heath probably as well. But he, he knows what is the game, I mean, the game is fullness, and he does come full always, but he's always in condition, he's never, like, off. So he always brings what's best, and uh, he places very well, I mean, he has been in the top two for the past three years, and uh, can he take the title away from, from, from Rami? I don't know about that, but can he win the Arnold Classic? Well, it is his to lose, and who can take him out? Bonek, Brett Wilkin, Steve Kuklo... I don't know, it's gonna be very tough for all of these guys to beat this freaking monster. Look at this guy. Look at his shape. This is really rare. I mean, how good do you need to be to actually beat this? You need to be really freaking good, and uh, are any of these guys doing the Iron Classic that good? I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be very tough. It's gonna be very tough. I mean, this is pretty much a clear winner. This is pretty much as clear as it was uh, that Chris Bumstead is going to win the Classic. That's how I feel about it. That's how most people feel about it. We'll see in about four weeks, guys. It's a month, so stay tuned to watch all the updates and everything, and I'm gonna post everything about the show as well, so once again, guys, subscribe to this channel. So I mentioned a couple of guys that are also doing the Arnold Classic, and uh, we have this photo of uh, Steve Kuklo, and he says just under four weeks out of Arnold Sports. Now, he didn't say this photo is taken at four weeks out. He said that he is four weeks out. Is he looking like this at four weeks out? I, I doubt that, honestly, I doubt that. I believe this is from his uh, Texas or Arnold prep. And it looks like, uh, like a post-show uh, photo shoot or something like that. Because he looks uh, tanned, really tanned, and he looks really vascular. And if he's dieting, there is no way he's this full and this vascular. I would assume right now he's a little bit flat. I mean, that's what I thought when I saw this photo, and then... I saw this video from Chris the Psycho Lewis, who is training uh, Steve Kuklo, so you can see right here that he doesn't have that tan, and that he's nowhere near as vascular and as full, so, and also, he, he said that, that he is aiming for a little bit smaller physique, like, he's gonna weigh a little bit less, but he's gonna go with conditioning, so at four weeks out, he does look much flatter uh, and less vascular than he does in that photo. That was most likely taken after a show with a, with a crazy pump, after eating uh, who knows how much food and uh, after drinking a lot of water. That, that's, that's the best you're gonna look in the gym. This probably wouldn't be the best package for the stage. On the stage, it is preferable to be a little bit flatter on the flat side rather than being a little bit too full because under all those lightings, it's, it's conditioning that matters. So, no, I don't think this is his uh, update, but he does look really awesome here, and uh, after having a couple of months of, of, of being angry at himself and at everybody else that he didn't qualify for the Mr. Olympia, I'm sure he trained really hard, and I think he's gonna make some improvements, actually, and he's gonna be a serious threat to, to, to Brandon Curry, actually, and to that Iron Classic title. Who else is there? Brad Wilkin? Can he do it? Well, at first I thought he might, but as the time passes and as I'm watching his physique, I'm thinking it's more realistic for him to expect like the top 5, and that's what he is actually aiming for, and I think that's fair. He only had one pro show before, and now doing the Arnold as his second show, top 5 would be success. Uh, can he do more than that? Might be, might be the case, he might be able to, but most likely, I think it's pretty safe to say 
top five would be a huge success and that's most likely gonna be the case after seeing him and everybody else yeah i think that's my my safest prediction as for now wow what about this guy phil Heath, who i believe is a brother-in-law to brad wilkin and they are also close brad talked about talking to phil Heath recently and phil gave him some advice for a two-day show he never has i mean brad never has done a two-day show such as arnold anyways this is phil right now on his youtube channel take a look at the freaking size of this of this guy is he retired <laughs> i mean I, I know i'm repeating this uh, very often and i'm beating a dead horse but I'm pretty sure that he's not retired. I mean, every time I see him, he looks bigger and better. This is him right now. You can you can take a look at this video. It's on, on his YouTube. Uh, he works out in this uh, tank top. And you can see a lot of his physique. Look at this guy. Look at how big he is right now. Uh, is this really TRT and peptides? I don't know. I'm guessing it's a little bit more than TRT. and Maybe some AGH. <laughs> because he does look just as good as he looked in 2020 when he was prepping for his uh, Mr. Olympia where he actually looked great aside from the bubble gut that you cannot see here so you don't know how how much is that fixed but as far as muscularity and the size of Phil Heath he is back I mean he has everything that he needs to have as far as size he's really big really round he looks really juicy he looks like he's on a heavy cycle honestly I might be wrong, but if I am wrong, if what he's saying is true, if he's really just on TRT and some peptides, how good will he be when he starts blasting? Once he starts training hard and uh, eating clan, stuff like that, you know? So <laughs> once he starts doing that, if he decides to prep, that's gonna be like, like an insane package. Maybe that insane that the judges will actually ignore his gut issue. I don't know, but he does look amazing right now in this video. So guys, you tell me what you think in the comment section down below. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up and, uh, you know, subscribe for more stuff like this. Thank you so much guys for watching. All the best and bye-bye.